What's up guys, Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer, here for the latest video review from Noda Brewing Company in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is their Jam Session Pale Ale. Uh, you can see the River Jam and the logo here in the bottom half of the can. This is a special can, normally uh, Jam Session comes in a yellow can, but this was made specially for the River Jam Summer Concert Series held at the... Uh, U.S. National Whitewater Center in Charlotte, there in Charlotte. Um, notes from the brewery about this uh, pale ale. The evolution of American pale ale. Still a session beer, but it sacrifices nothing. Clear hop flavor shines through without being too dominant, and there's a great malt flavor uncommon to the variety. The backbone of this beer is the balance of imported Maris Otter and Karamutic malts, with the pine and citrus flavors of Simcoe and Citra hops. Comes in at 5.1% ABV and 31 IBU. Let's pour it. All right. Uh, nice, pretty color. Orange to gold, I would say. Uh, Pretty really well, perfectly see-through, and maybe just a about a finger's worth of head, maybe a, a hair more than that, and plenty of uh, carbonation shooting up through the glass. All right, let's give it a try. The hops are quite prevalent to start out the uh, the taste. The drinking experience. I'm getting plenty of pine and just a, a kiss of citrus as well. The pine is very much a, a, a dominant note there early on. And then it kind of resolves into a nice little little hint of maltiness and uh, some some nice citrus flavors, some uh some a little bit of orange, maybe a little bit of tangerine, maybe some uh, grapefruit, something like that. Uh, much more defined there in the in the back half uh, compared to just the citrus hint from the hops um, early on in, in the drink. Overall, pretty light in uh, in body. Uh, I guess that's not not uh, pretty expected. Rather, with a it kind of being a session IPA, as they said, and a relatively low ABV. Uh, really, really nice, really, really tasty. The bitterness is ramping up on me a little bit as I drink more. It had been sitting out a little while too, so that may have uh, still plenty cold, but I find the, a lot of times that bitterness will ramp up as it warms, so that may play a role in this particular one. And now I've kind of drank about a third of it. I see the carbonation is almost... Uh, much, much, much reduced compared to early on after the pour. Yeah, very nice, very flavorful. I mean, again, nice, nice kind of orange note that really uh, pushes all the way through from from the beginning to the end. Starts off as the, the faint bit of cit faint bit of citrus, and then kind of goes on to uh, become much more defined in the back half, um, along with a a little bit of sweet and uh, like toasty maltiness as well. Um, great, great entry from uh, from Noda Brewing. Have few, they've had a few other things, and I've um, generally been very pleased with with all of them. So that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, next time we'll be checking out another brewery from Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, that will be making its PRB debut. You can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in this, the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.